Imagine a sepia-toned world, dust kicked up by the hooves of cattle, and the sun a relentless sentinel in a vast, untamed land. It's 1959, and you've just tuned into a television screen that's more a window to another time than an entertainment device. The opening chords of a timeless tune, a jaunty cowboy ballad, resonate through the room, and you're transported to the wild frontier of the American West. This is your first encounter with the 1959 TV series, Rawhide, a show that etched its name into the annals of television history. Your memory races back to those evenings when you sat enthralled, captivated by the rugged charm of a young Clint Eastwood, the clatter of hooves, and the unmistakable crack of a whip. Rawhide was more than just a Western series. It was a journey into the heart of untamed America, a place where cowboys and cattle ruled the roost, and the vast prairies whispered secrets to those who dared to listen. As you recollect those days, you can't help but wonder about the show's hidden gems, the anecdotes, and quirks that made it the legend it is. So, saddle up and ride with me into the world of Rawhide, as we unearth fascinating tidbits about the series that became an enduring piece of Americana. Whether you're a die-hard fan or a curious newcomer, y'all discover the magic that still keeps the campfires of Rawhide burning bright in our collective memory. Commencing in Season 8, the main character of Gil Favor was removed from the show Rawhide. Clint Eastwood's character then took over the main role. This resulted in a loss of ratings, and the series was ultimately cancelled. The reason for this decision remains unclear. However, in a later interview, Eric Fleming, who portrayed Gil Favor, jokingly suggested that the studios did it to save themselves a million dollars. It's worth noting that Fleming was not actually paid that substantial amount of money for his role. Unfortunately, there is no substantial information available on Wishbone's full name or Mushy's full name in connection with the Rawhide series. On a different note, Sheb Woolley, who played Scout Pete Nolan on the show, had a one hit on the Billboard charts with the novelty song The Flying Purple People Eater in the early summer of 1958. This was an interesting and successful venture for one of the show's cast members. In conclusion, the removal of Gil Favor from Rawhide in its eighth season, the subsequent ratings decline, and the series cancellation remain a point of intrigue in the show's history. As for the full names of characters like Wishbone and Mushy, this information appears to be less readily available. Finally, Cheb Woolley's musical success outside of the show adds an interesting dimension to the Rawhide legacy. Rawhide was a 1959 TV series that played a significant role in popularizing the Western genre on television during the late 1950s and early 1960s. It became a cultural touchstone for that era. The show primarily revolved around a group of cattle drivers who faced various challenges while herding their cattle across the American frontier. While Eric Fleming was the show's star, it was Clint Eastwood's breakthrough role as Rowdy Yates that gained significant attention. His performance on the show not only contributed to the series' popularity, but also launched his successful film career. Although Eric Fleming was the leading man on Rawhide, recent DVD releases prominently feature Clint Eastwood on the cover due to his later fame in the film industry. This shift in prominence highlights the enduring impact of Eastwood's role in the series. Rawhide is a prime example of a television show that not only entertained viewers, but also served as a launching pad for a Hollywood legend, Clint Eastwood. Rawhide, the 1959 TV series, featured numerous guest stars who later became famous, adding to the show's appeal. Notable appearances included James Coburn and Bruce Dern. This brought extra star power to the series. Moreover, Rawhide remained popular even after it ended. It continued to be syndicated, attracting new generations of fans who enjoyed the adventures of the cattle drivers. However, not all was smooth for the show. The episode titled Incident of the Dot Faces stirred controversy due to its portrayal of Native Americans. Some viewers found it offensive and accused the show of perpetuating stereotypes. In conclusion, Rawhide left a lasting impact on television, with famous guest stars and a dedicated fan base. Yet, it faced criticism for its portrayal of Native Americans in one particular episode. In the 1959 TV series Rawhide, Clint Eastwood remained a constant presence throughout the show's run. However, other cast members changed over the years due to factors such as contract disputes and creative differences. This revolving door of actors kept the series fresh and dynamic. 
One interesting tidbit is about Eric Fleming, who played the role of Gil Favor. His face had been severely injured while he was in the Navy. A 200-pound steel block smashed his face, requiring extensive reconstructive plastic surgery. Despite this hardship, Fleming continued his acting career and left a lasting mark on Rawhide. Another notable aspect of the show was the character Jesus, a Mexican wrangler. The character's name was spelled differently from the traditional Jesus, but pronounced the same way as Jesus in Spanish. This was a clever way to avoid potential controversy and letters of outrage. Rawhide was a groundbreaking Western series that not only entertained audiences, but also dealt with interesting behind-the-scenes dynamics. With its ever-changing cast and the unique handling of character names, it remains a fascinating piece of television history. Clint Eastwood's role in Rawhide and the unreleased European feature in 1959. The TV series Rawhide roped in viewers across America with its tales of cattle drives and the challenges faced by a group of trail hands. One notable face in the cast was a young Clint Eastwood, who played the role of Rowdy Yates. However, behind the scenes, there were rumblings of tension. Reports emerged of conflicts between Clint Eastwood and Eric Fleming, who portrayed the trail boss Gil Favor. Allegedly, their different acting styles and personalities clashed, creating tension on the set. This friction hinted at the challenges of maintaining a harmonious atmosphere during the show's production. By the mid-1960s, Clint Eastwood's star was rising rapidly, particularly in Europe. He had gained fame through his first two westerns for Sergio Leone. To capitalize on his growing European fan base, the producers of Rawhide decided to create a feature film for the continent. They hastily edited together two Rawhide episodes, Incident of the Running Man and the Backshooter, added some extra footage, and released it in Europe as The Magnificent Stranger. The advertising prominently featured Clint Eastwood in the central role. The film made its debut in Italy in 1966, and later in West Germany in 1967, catching the attention of Eastwood himself. Unhappy with what the producers had done, he took legal action, resulting in a cease and desist notice being served on the film's distributors. This prevented it from being released anywhere else, and The Magnificent Stranger was pulled from circulation. As of 2022, the film has remained unseen since 1967 and has not been released on any home media. In retrospect, this incident underlines the rising star power of Clint Eastwood and the lengths taken by producers to capitalize on his European popularity. It's a unique chapter in the history of Rawhide, and an example of how the entertainment industry often adapts to emerging talent and markets. As we ride off into the sunset of this journey through the 1959 TV series Rawhide, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the profound connection this iconic show has forged in your heart. Rawhide, with its unforgettable characters and gripping tales of life on the trail, has woven itself into the very fabric of American television history. For some, it may be the rugged determination of Gil Favor and Rowdy Yates as they braved the challenges of the cattle drive. For others, it might be the camaraderie of the trail cook, Wishbone, whose culinary escapades always left us hungry for more. Perhaps it's the dusty plains and endless horizons that sparked a longing for adventure within you or the resounding echo of the iconic Rawhide theme song that still lingers in your memory. Now, I encourage you to share your cherished memories, thoughts, or reflections on Rawhide. Did it inspire you in some way? Did it ignite a passion for the Old West, or perhaps remind you of simpler times? Feel free to let your words flow, and together, we can celebrate the enduring legacy of Rawhide. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the TV series Rawhide. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated. We look forward to hearing your thoughts and memories. Until then, let the tales of Rawhide continue to shape the horizon of your imagination.